Dear children, welcome back to our class 1 Max. All of you take your Max test book, Tame 3, pages 78 to 89. Our first lesson is Shapes and Pattern. See the figure. This is a square shape. A square has four sides. All four sides are equal. Now, you see some example for square shape. This is a rectangle shape. A rectangle has also four sides. Its opposite sides are equal. See the examples for rectangle shape. This is a triangle shape. A triangle has three sides. See the example. This is a circle. A circle is round with no sides. Some examples for circle are buttons, bowl, tire, etc. Observe the following shapes. These are both triangles. These are of same size. These are two rectangles. These are of different sizes. Next is solid shapes. What is solid shapes? Solid shapes are shapes in our surroundings. They cannot be drawn on the paper. See the example. Now, let us match the same shapes. Let's see. Next is rolling and siding. The objects with the curved surfaces can roll. Example, bowl, pencil, etc. Next one, the objects with the flat surfaces can slide. Example, book, eraser, tiffin box, etc. Cross the objects that can roll. See, here, Water bottle, watermelon, glass and candle can roll because they have curved surfaces. Next, take the objects that can slide. See, here door, mobile and pencil box. They have flat surface. So, they can slide. See, fill it. Fill in each space with the correct number. See the first number. 5, 8, 11. What is the next number? How we will find it? Listen. First of all, we want to find out the difference between two numbers. Here, first number is 5 and second number is 8. Difference between 5 and 8 is 3. Then, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. The next one, 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. The next is, 11 plus 3 is equal to 14. Next again, 14 plus 3 is equal to 70. The next one, next numbers, 10, 12, 14. Next two numbers, we want to find next two numbers. How we can find it? You just see, here numbers are increasing. So, here we want to use addition method. If the numbers are decreasing, we want to use subtraction method. Here, first number is 10, then second number is 12. What is the difference between 10 and 12? 2. So, 10 plus 2 equal 12. The next number, 12 plus 2 equal 14. The next one, 14 plus 2 equal 16. Again, 16 plus 2 equal 18. The next down, 6 and 10. What is the difference between these numbers? These numbers are increasing, so we want to 
I use here addition method. 6 plus 4 is equal 10. Then again 10 plus 4 equal 14. 14 plus 4 equal 18. 18 plus 4 equal 20. The next one 14, 12, 11. Here numbers are decreasing. So here we want to use subtraction method. Here you just say second and third numbers 12 and 11. What is the difference between 12 and 11? 1 minus 1. So you just use 14 minus 1 will get 13. Then 13 minus 1 will get 12. Then 12 minus 1 will get 11. Then 11 minus 1 will get 10. The next one. In this way, you just do rest of the numbers. Then our next lesson is data handling. Data is a collection of facts, numbers, words, etc. Some questions are given. It is based on the picture. See the picture and answer the following. Fill in the boxes. First question. How many girls are playing? Four. Second question. How many balls are playing? 5. Next one. How many dogs are there? 2. How many benches are there? 3. See the next example for data handling. Count the number of letters in each name and fill in the box. Some names are here. Deepak, Sarika, Abhishek, Rani and Hamad. You see the first name. How many letters are here? D, E, E, P, A, K here. Six letters are here. The next one, Sarika here. Also six letters. The next one is Abhishek. How many letters are here? Eight letters. Then Rani. Here four letters are here. Ahama. There are five letters. Next one, fill in the blanks. You see the names. First. First question. The longer name has dash letters. The longer name is Abhishek. Here, there are eight letters. The next one. The shortest name has dash letters. The short, shorter, shortest name is Rani. There are four le letters. Next one. There are dash students whose names have exactly six letters. There are two names, Thibak and Sarika. There are each six letters. After watching this video, try to write your homework. Okay, thank you.